Today I'm going to talk a little bit about the shortcomings of conversion modeling. Now it's an extremely powerful tool. It can do an incredible amount. And I don't necessarily uh, think that shortcomings is the correct phrase for it, but uh, for lack of a better word, maybe areas where conversion modeling or next steps for conversion modeling to be able to, to handle modifications and edits a little bit better. But uh, as it stands for now, convergent modeling that I've seen is extremely powerful. And as I dig up these uh, little areas where you may see some of these things kind of fall over, I'll keep pointing them out. So here I've got, as you can see, I've got my convergent body. So what I want to do with that convergent body is I'm going to draw some curves on a sketch. So I've got on my XY plane my sketch. And let me go into view and go into see through all. And uh, let me true this up, go back into my home. Now, with this, I want to go through and let's do say orient view to sketch. There we go. I want to go through and I'm going to draw some curves. I'm going to talk about uh, cutting out this little portion for the, the roof. So those curves I'm going to use, and I, I do like using splines inside of sketch because it automatically constrains the spline to the to the plane and you can numerically drive things. Well, I'll get into some videos on that later on. So I'm gonna go into spline by poles and I'm just gonna pick three points. Put this right where I need that, there we go. Apply and I'm gonna go ahead and start with that end point and work my way out and over and okay. Now that I have that, I'll just leave it like that and finish my sketch. I'm going to go into curve, project these curves onto my convergent model along my Z direction. And there we have my curves. Now that I have my curves on that model, I'm going to go into reverse engineering and snip. I want to snip this facet body with these curves, keeping this region and select OK. Now that I have that, you can see I have several. I kept the original, so I can just go ahead and hide that. I have this split into two separate bodies, so I'll just go ahead and turn off the one. And now I'm going to go into my view, turn off my see-through all so we can see this a little bit better. So you can see those are my projected curves. I've done my split. If I go in now and show facet edges, what happened with my split is that at every position, it splits this triangle here to this curve. So in certain cases, this may have been one big triangle. It needs, needed to add an additional point here to match whatever tolerance for that split to get a clean edge on my new convergent body. So as I do my split, it creates new triangles at those positions along those boundaries, right? It just doesn't uh, split it and then uh, keep the triangle on one side or the other side and then it's not jagged it's a perfectly smooth edge so in order for that to happen it has to necessarily uh, split those triangles now if I turn on the original and hide this guy you can see where the new triangles come into place okay so it's necessary for it to do that split now here is kind of where the convergent modeling begins begins to deviate. If I come in and make a modification to this sketch, for instance, I'm going to pull that in, I'm going to finish. What you'll notice is that those curves updated, they're still being projected to the original conversion model, but what we don't have is the split updated. And the reason why it doesn't update is, again, because it's created a new STL or a new convergent body based off of the original position of those curves. So there is a history there to those curves that created that split. 
So that's one of those areas where the convergent modeling still isn't uh, able to maintain that split of those bodies. So it, when you do that split using that reverse engineering split function here, or SNP, I should say, it um, creates separate new convergent models to those curves, but you don't have the uh, parametrics or parametrically linked body to those curves as such. So that's one area where the convergent modeling may cause you some problems in the future for whatever modeling project you happen to be on.